Uh, I see another question here. I'm looking for uh, my first game dev job right now, but I'm struggling between whether to learn more about clean code, refactoring code, or developing more games, maybe games for mobile, etc. Okay, mm. that's a yeah. <laughs> As uh, Sparrowhawk says, that's the ten million dollar question. <laughs> Where should you focus your your resources? Uh, well, I mean, that's it. There, I don't feel like there's any particularly wrong answer. Um, you should definitely be doing something. Don't get stuck in analysis paralysis where you, you're not sure what you should do. Um, and then you just don't do anything. I'm guilty as charged to do that a lot, <laughs> especially when, uh, when planning for something, a project. Um, I mean, I guess if you could identify a weak point you have, but as far as trying to get a game dev job, um, you know, you don't, you don't really have to have everything perfected to get the job. You know, you certainly could get a job and continue to hone things like you could continue to learn about clean code and how to refactor um, on the job. So just because you get a job doesn't mean the learning stops. And uh, if you've done a reasonable amount of work and you feel confident and, you know, game development shop hires you, then yeah, you should be fine and you should just be okay to continue developing those skills. Well, I think again, Sparrow brings up a good point with that on two sides, which is one, um, you're going to learn how to do that stuff as you go anyway. Like, mm -hmm. I know the whole point of us doing these kinds of videos to talk about uh, practices and things that are clean code, et cetera, that will kind of help you as you go. Um, but as somebody who did spend literally years learning clean code and architecture as an isolated concept and then applied it to stuff, I don't actually recommend that route. I don't think it's probably a wise thing. To just say, I'm going to go and spend a year or two dedicating myself to learning clean architecture. I think the time I did that was far more wasted than the time I was working on real projects, hit mm. real problems, and then learned how to write cleaner code as a result of doing that. So I would say uh, the truth is, whatever your first few projects are, they're going to suck. They always do. And they're <laughs> going to have bad things. You're going to hit problems. So rather than learning how to write clean code and rather than trying to angle towards getting a job, th the fact is you're better off building things of mm -hmm. some nature, the things that you can do tweets with, things that you can put on the Unity 3D subreddit, things that you put yourself out there so people can get a sense of what your portfolio is. Mm -hmm. And if you can demonstrate work that you can do, and then in your free time between that, learn how to get better and learn how to make better code and make life easier for yourself as you go, um, somebody will pick up on that. Or be proactive and do the opposite, which is go and find people who are doing that on Unity 3 other places and come up with it. So when it comes to looking for your first game dev job, you're not going to get it by knocking on doors or going to companies. You're going to get it by meeting people and working with people and finding the right contact. So just make stuff, make stuff, go to places where people talk about stuff they've made, you know, meet people, talk to people, work on things and just don't worry. Don't like the, the whole thing is you can't just drive to your destination. It's not, it's weird. It's hard to describe when you're talking about a job like game development. There's not like, there's not like a critical path. You can't just say, if you do these 10 steps, you will end up arriving at this place, which is called a game dev job. It doesn't really work that way, or at least not by anyone I've ever met. It is more a case of at some time you'll meet the right person under the right circumstance and do the right game jam or, you know, yeah. write the right comment in the right Discord channel or something. So I wouldn't stress out by actively trying to drive in the right direction. I would simply have fun making things that are very visible mm -hmm. and just be smart about putting your content out there so people will find you and want to work with you and reach out to people that you'd want to work with and just keep rolling the dice until something hits, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I see, um, you know, jury here in the comments says doing a game for my portfolio thoughts about releasing it thought about releasing it would look good. So it's a polished game slice, not a lot of content, which, which store would be good or better to make a, a repo public meaning he's just trying to figure out how to share this thing that he's created, whether or not he should put it up on a store or make his uh, repository public so people can see Both. it. Yeah, yeah. Put it in the store, do a GitHub repo, move on to the next project. Yeah, more content, just keep going. There's yeah. no, like, Either, either you're angling to make money out of it or you're angling to use it as a as a putting stuff out there. I would focus on the putting stuff out there and not on the, the making money that early. You know? Yeah, for sure. Um, and you definitely can get your name out there. You know, it's one of those things too. You know, game development is very visual. So even if you are a developer, um, you can come up with something reasonably polished and pretty that, you know, kind of exemplifies your pro your your abilities as a coder and as a game developer all around. Um, and then you just throw it into a GIF, drop it on Twitter, drop it in Reddit. And yeah, Jason touched on something really important. Do it a lot. You know, I can say as a YouTuber, I have to put out a video every week, you know, because I have to continuously put out content. 
And that's the same thing with game development. You need to be, uh, you need to demonstrate that you could uh, work consistently as well as, you know, produce quality stuff. So yeah, I think that will eventually lead to you being a part of communities, whether it be the subreddit or whether it be some discord server. And uh, that's just going to lead to you uh, being positioned to, uh, to get a job. It's like my favorite quote is, uh, luck is when opportunity meets um, preparation, you know, and by making games all the time, uh, making small projects that, you know, teach you, uh, you are preparing yourself for that opportunity um, when someone comes along and, and is looking for someone like you to add to their team. Let's go.